Heather in this tutorial of Jira walkthrough I'm going to show you some of the options of system tab so this tab is basically have options like general configuration troubleshoot support tools of Atlassian security in issue features user interface import export mail license and advanced so start with general configurations so I am allowed to see the who is in charge Devnami mode public maximum authentication attempt 3 capture of base URL ATAT full name Jira so language is currently set these are the base options that I have set during the installation I can edit them uh, by scrolling to the bottom and clicking on edit configuration also do some advanced check that will pass to this page and apply it to overall Jira configuration let's check the next which is troubleshooting and support so basically this checks for the integrity of Jira installation like we are allowed to check for out of date information in the database like issue relations, search request, duplicate permissions, workflow, scheme and filter subscription we can click on it and then hit this button to check the integrity also there is logging and profiling so we can check the access logs SQL logging, profiling and outgoing mail logs so all the this is shown on this page you can debug one error let's check the scheduler details we can schedule the jobs and check its status on this page okay let's move to the system info So on support request tab we have support options that allows us to send email related to the application issues and table shooting information like log systems information zip that we can attach or also list it. So move on to the next which is security. So we have current user sessions listed here the more the user the more you will be able to see the data you can have remember my login option also the whitelist for a particular IP address so they won't be blocked due to some issues then issue features in this we have track back settings time tracking and issue linking so the uh, time tracking related options can be managed from this page also issue linking is also allowed here then you have 
user interface configurations so this is how the dashboard looks if you look at here you get to change this you can add your own message that will be shown across all the users okay so you can add edit and remove as well then you have navigator columns to modify look and feel to modify announcement banner to modify let's check you look and feel get to change the themes and manage some of the logos here you have jira logo you can change to your own company logo that is allowed as far as i know under license terms yes it is allowed uh, as you can see here there is a message you can replace the default jira logo with image of your choice you can also change the colors to match your company uh, website color okay so announcement banner can be changed as well you can add the message here make it public or private to only log, log logged in users then you have import and export related options you can configure those settings on this page uh, import the data from bugzilla also from fogbuds mantis pivotal tracker track and jelly and fogbuds on demand these are the project or issue tracker management software that are allowed for both cloud and self-hosted you can import the data from those system to jira you have backup system configuration and you can export the jira data if you want to move your content from current configuration to new or old you can restore if you have any backed up data license etc then you can import the entire project this is handy if you want to just copy from one project to another and just give the path to the directory and click on next and it will take you to the installation steps and you'll be able to import the project then you have mail settings as well you'll be able to configure the setting related to smtp mail server and pop an iMail mail server so when you do these settings you will be able to send outgoing mail right now no outgoing mail are allowed to send due to lack of these configuration settings then you have license page so it shows the license currently I have unlimited user license but I am in evaluations license mode right now which only work for 27 days after that it will be collapsed so I'll be back into the free plan which is only read only so let's check for another these are advanced settings options okay so re-indexing attachment event listeners services scheme tools and jelly runner these settings are listed on this page so as shown here this is pretty much our walkthrough or you can say overview of system settings for Jira and in next tutorial I will cover more topic till then bye